Now, this is what I will say. Preachers, they don't usually clap back at each other. But Creflo Dollar, well, he got all these preachers clapping back this week, boo. <laughs> Hi there. I am Professor Blackmore and welcome back to my channel. And what I can't really figure out is how your last name going to be Dollar, but you ain't here telling these Pharisees that they don't have to tithe because that's Old Testament. <laughs> you flying in here to your church on your private jet every Sunday as high as gas is, but you gonna let the word leak out on the internet that we don't have to pay tithes? <laughs> and so let's peek in here for a moment and see what Creflo Dollar is talking about here. I wanna start off by saying to you that I'm still growing and that the teachings that I've shared in times past on the subject of tithing were not correct. And today I stand in, in humility to correct some things that I've taught for years and believed for years, but could never under, understand it clearly because I had not yet been confronted with the gospel of grace, which has made the difference. I won't apologize because if it wasn't for me going down that route, I would have never ended up where I am right now. But I will say that I have no shame at all at saying to you, throw away every book, every tape, and every video I ever did on the subject of tithing unless it lines up with this. I've, I've done some corrective teaching in the, in, the, in the last 10 years, but not to the degree of what we're getting ready to do now. And if it's one subject that the church has used for a long time to keep people in fear and guilt, it is in that subject of tithing. And it has to be corrected, and it's gotta be corrected now I may lose some friends, preachers may not ever invite me no more, but I think I've already been through that, so it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, so now what? Instead of tithing, we're calling it grace giving? Oh, oh, okay, I, I guess when you have $7 gas and $8 butter and your name is Dollar, yeah, I can see. And you're flying to church on your jet? Yeah, I guess I can see how we better shift and call it something else. Grace giving. And I guess I can see why we need to correct it now. But anyway, so Creflo, let me get this straight. So you post this up all out there on the internet and then the people at your church like subscribe and share this word to their friends over at the potter's house in dallas the lighthouse in houston and out on the fellowship in chicago <laughs> uh -uh, boo, 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 boo. these preachers got in that pulpit this sunday and they said to the saints it is not so <laughs> so let's take a quick peek and how some of these preachers clap back this Sunday. Uh, uh, stay with him, stay with him. I want us to give out of the abundance of our heart. We, we tithe at this church. We give at this church because we have biblical principles. Yes, yeah, go home and worship him. Okay, well, what I will say is that I do believe in the power of giving tithes and offerings because it all really does belong all to the Lord. But as you know on here, I report and I let the saints decide. So what do you think? Do you believe Creflo's dollars beliefs that tithes or Old Testament 
ideology? Or do you tend to fall in with the clapback preachers from this Sunday? Let me know by leaving your comments in the comments section below. And please also give me a big thumbs up. And I also want to ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified when I come back. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram.